I'm Joe Fiorati. I work with Carol Water and I'm one of the senior techs here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Wi Fi on your 3700 softener or refiner system. To start, you're going to want to hit the center button. The center button is going to be your main menu. You're going to want to then scroll down all the way to the bottom to your advanced settings. Once you're in advanced settings, you're going to want to scroll down until you find wireless setup. Once you're in your wireless setup, you're going to have two options. One's going to be a WPS button, which is found in your router. The next option is going to be your browser mode. The browser mode is what we're going to use today. From there, you're going to want to log onto your account using your Echo Water app on your smartphone, or you can get on your computer and type in wifi.echowater.com. Once you're logged into your account, you're going to hit Add System. Once you're in Add System, it says place your device in Browser Mode or Connect Mode and see Instruction Manual. So basically, this goes through everything that you need to know. So once you're in there, you're going to want to hit Settings. You're going to get into your Wi-Fi settings. Go all the way up. Find your Wi-Fi. Once you're in Wi-Fi, you'll see something called H20 and then a couple numbers behind it. You want to connect to that. It should redirect you. I'm going to open your app. Once you're in here, it's going to say select the local Wi-Fi, which is your Wi-Fi. Once you've selected the Wi-Fi, you're going to go down to the password. And you're going to hit your next. Sometimes this process could take a couple minutes. Alright, at this point, you're going to look on your softener now, and it's going to give you a key code. Alright, so once you're at this menu, you're going to notice this is enter the key code to continue. So you're simply going to look at the key code on your softener, enter the same key code in. hit next and at that point it's going to register your device so once you're registering your device you're going to say a nickname typically I just put softener then as you go down system units in English hardness units in grains per gallon then you can manually adjust your hardness depending on what's coming into your house so let's say this one's a 24 iron we'll just make up a number and say say 1.2. Salt types usually going to be sodium unless you're using potassium. Date formats totally up to you. Time formats up to you as well. Typical unit recharges at 2 a.m. So at this point you're going to put your email address in and a cell phone. These are what you will get your uh, alert sent to in the case that there's a problem with your unit. So the first one you run into is a low salt warning. Typically I tell customers to turn that one on. You can choose between email or text. What I would usually tell customers is set it about 30. It's really just your preference, but I figure 30 days out gives you plenty of time to go ahead and get more salt. Flow monitor, I usually turn that on. You can hit the text for that too. Excessive water use, I always turn that on. What excessive water use is gonna say is the unit counts gallons. So what'll happen is if a toilet's running or you're using, you know, too much water in some area of your house, the unit will actually let you know and then at that point you can try to figure out what the situation is. Water to drain, I always turn that on. Error messages is totally up to you, we can turn it on. So the next one's going to be your service reminder. I always recommend that customers turn the service reminder on. Next you're going to notice that you can select either RO service, service reminder, or filter service. I save for software and just leave it on service reminder and you're good to go. You're going to Typically, we recommend yearly services on these units, so I usually tell a customer to leave it a, a reminder for 11 or 12 months. That way, if we don't contact you, at least you guys get a little reminder and say, hey, it's about time for us to come out and check your unit out. At that point, we'll come out, we'll test your water, and we'll see how, you, how well your software is working. Next is lost connection. Lost connection, you can turn it on or off. It's up to you guys. Uh, lost connection just basically says, you know, all of a sudden your unit is unplugged or there's a Wi-Fi issue in your house and then it alerts you that they no longer have connection to your software. 
and you can send that or text or email. Then you're going to hit the next button. At this point, your device has been added to the Wi-Fi. If you have any further questions or issues, just give us a call at Carol Water. Thank you.